What is going on guys? This is the Kranz Melt here, and I know this video is coming out a little bit later. I'm recording it. It's Friday, but it will come out on Saturday. I just wanted to talk about the new Combine Warrior card that came out, Vernon Davis, which I'm super pumped about. Uh, I'm going to do what I did last week. A lot of you guys really liked what I did. I just gave a little review on the card, um, and it seems like, uh, seems like a lot of people are pulling this. So uh, this is pretty cheap already. It's the first day and it's already down to 14K. Last week's was already at, I mean, now it's probably around 30, 35K each. So you can definitely get this set done pretty cheap. Um, the cards, I think both were 15. There's a 13K one. Uh, you'll definitely be able to get this done a lot cheaper than the other ones. Don't know why. I can't explain why. I guess this one had better odds in packs for some reason. Uh, so definitely go try to do this one if you can, if you're interested in that. He's a very good tight end, Vernon Davis. Um, so you get 2.5K and then you get your combine collectible and your Vernon Davis card. So let's jump in and we'll take a look at that Vernon Davis card. So here he is, Vernon Davis, only 82K right now. Maybe it's better to wait, guys. Maybe even buy it off the block if you don't really, if you're not worried about that collectible. But uh, 80, 82k for a really good tight end. I'm gonna compare him to my favorite honors, Rob Gronkowski. Uh, so speed is like eight points better. That is tremendous. Like he has wide receiver speed on him. Like a lot of my wide receivers aren't even 97 speed. So. Uh, Possible wide receiver for the team, maybe. Um, he does lack in release, route run, and catching compared to um, the usual. Catching traffic's 97, so that's not too bad. Strength is 90, so that's pretty good for a tight end. Um, definitely a good run block with 78. Most cards aren't above 80, um, except for Delaney. I like the lady. Uh, but yeah, so like Rob Gronkowski is a 76, so he's two better than him with better strength. Um, looking at this card, I definitely think this is going to be a very good card. A lot of you guys are definitely going to want to try to get this guy on your squad. Um, quick just going through it. Very good jump, 97 jump. So he's not as tall as Rob Gronkowski, but he does have that jumping boost. Um... Juke move is okay. Impact block 75, so that's a little above average. Uh, run block strength is 83. Block shedding 66. Not that he needs it, but it's there. Um, injury is pretty good, so you don't have to worry about that. Only 88 release, which I'm a little worried about. But overall, this card looks pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I'd have to say I definitely am probably going to try to get him on the team. Maybe we'll just do the set and sell him. I'm not sure. I'm going to think about it a little bit longer, but he might be a, a great wide receiver because um, I do like having a wide receivers with boosted run block, so that'll be nice. Um, we are going to we're, we're, we're gonna mix it up a little bit, and we're going to get some guesses on what you guys think is going to be the combine hero because um, so most of you guys know for each set that you complete for the Combine Warriors, you get a little collectible. I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like. Um, combine Master Collectible. Um, and so it says collect the Combine Master co Collectibles each week to earn a special prize at the end of the program. And so the Combine, the draft is about to happen next week or this week, really. Um, so, I'm thinking it's about time that the Combine promotional ends. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe not. What do you guys think? You guys think there are gonna be more Combine Warriors to come out? Possibly. I need to definitely go check last year and I just compare how many Combine Warriors came out last year, how many this year. I know they had a couple 99, so maybe we'll see this for a couple more weeks. Um, and then what what's, What do you guys think is going to be the hero? A lot of people want like a Leon Sandcastle that was in Mutt uh, 13, something like that. Um, I think there's, I, I've been looking up different things, and Adrian Peterson apparently he had one of the best drafts. And I was really surprised. Um, 
Darius Hayward Bay was in there. He had one of the best combines. Uh, Poe was in there. I think that was it out of... Um, Vernon Davis was also in there, I think. So, maybe we'll see another Chris Johnson card. A lot of people would want to see that, but I think he was in last year's. So, maybe they'll do... Like, if you complete that set, you get a flashback to last year's. That would be a pretty, pretty nice, pretty... Pretty neat idea, I think. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think is going to be the hero? Post that in the comments below. That's going to be it uh, for this video. It's not going to be a pack opening. I'm sorry. I'll definitely try to put a pack opening up for tomorrow's video or maybe even on Monday. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.